Um, hello, everybody. My name is Julian Henley, and I'm a games developer and also a visual writer. Today, I aim to answer the question Is Dr. Jordan Peterson a monster? Is he a monster? Well, perhaps not in the sense he thought it was. Well, I've learnt many things from Dr. Peterson over the years. Yeah. He's been something of a mentor to me. It's a man. I should probably give you some, some background on myself. I am 48 years old. I have cerebral palsy and also a severe scoliosis. Since I don't heard my, my most uh, pressing ambitions was has been always has been to find an intimate partner, a a uh, female, female human, <laughs> a, a lady who could be with me, share with me the rest of my life. Unfortunately, I cannot achieve that. Well, so far, I've not been able to do so. For whatever reason, so I don't know. My suspicion is part, partly due to my disability. And of course my disability has ramifications for other aspects of my life, such as the lack of employment, lack of status, um, lack of physical power. All that kind of stuff, yeah. Which leads me on to the idea, the, the, um, the concept of being a monster. It has often confused me, um, the idea of being a monster. I, uh, I am familiar with Peter, uh, Jordan Peterson's idea. Uh, but I've never quite understood it. Um, I can be aggressive, sure. Um, but how is that going to help me? Um, take example, the case when I might have been in the public house, as I have been in the past, and some chap comes up to me and um, challenges me to fight. I do not have any recourse. Right? What do I do? If he, if he attacks me, there's nothing I can do. I, he, if he tips me out of my wheelchair, there's nothing I can do. I just be flailing around back like a turtle. So how do I be a monster? Um, anyway, um, to get back to the point of how Dr. Jordan Peterson is a monster, and it's not the way you think it is. I'm talking about different monster. Dr. Jordan Peterson has videos on YouTube which have millions and millions of views. He has also written at least three books Maps of Meaning, Maps of Meaning, 12, 12 Rules for Life, and another one, um, beyond 12 more 
12 more rows. The only reason I've only made a couple of those books. He's a monster in, in, in regards to his success. He's achieved enormous success as a clinical psychologist and an author and a public figure and a mentor who's been referred to as a man whisperer but I'm sure he doesn't particularly like that title because I'm sure he feels like uh, he cares as much about women as he does men I, I, I would agree with that. By opposing Bill C-16 of Canada, he has, he has um, protected basic rights. Also, he, he protects rights as regards free speech. And indeed, that was one of the reasons why I wrote my latest visual novel, Decay Coming. It is about free speech. It is about uh, the perils of cancer culture, cancer culture. And it is about the perils of allowing um, the social justice and political correctness to get out of my head. So, in short, my conclusion is yes, Jordan Peterson is a bloody monster and he should be. And I thank God that he is, and I thank God that he helped me to become one. Or at least something me to be to start to become one. And so I say, God bless. Please buy my vision novel. I would like to have an interview with John Bisson Day on his on his, um, on his website or his uh, YouTube. I think it's a travesty that Twitter has suspended his account. Uh, I know it's um, I know it is a a, a, a kind of a pseudo plan because it's effectively a suspension. But I know I know Jordan Peterson well enough that I know that he will not. He will not. Click that button to delete the street. And if it, anyone is wondering why I call myself a student of Jordan Peterson, the reason is because I've studied his work, I've studied his, I've followed his lectures on YouTube. Uh, and I'm just, well, basically, I am a student. In the same way that someone who follows Jung. Freud is so I'm a qualified counsellor, so part of my interest. I did not like being a counsellor, so I quit. And I don't know what to I'd love to be um, interviewed or be what I did to interview Jordan, Jordan Bissell himself. So if you are there, Jordan, Jordan, please, please. Yeah. So, um, yes, again, God bless you. And goodbye. Thank you.